What up, guys? Jay Pops in the house, coming at you with... Whoops. Poor vision. Let's start that again. So, today we are doing our weekly Funko Pop rotation. It's really like a monthly, but I do this kind of like on a weekly basis. I just don't normally film it. I do put it sometimes on my Instagram, but the pop rotation is when we just basically rotate all the pops here so that way we can see some more of them. So you guys know I wanted to do like an Infinity War shelf like right up here. So I'm basically just going to be like boxing up all of the Stranger Thing pops and basically everything on this bottom shelf and then moving this one down here, this one down here. And then the top one I'll be just bringing down here and then up here would just be like Infinity War. Some of these might get boxed up too because I kind of want like a Star Wars section here somewhere. I'm not sure. So we just hit 1100 subscribers. That is awesome. You guys know the next milestone is 2K. So I think we could get there fairly quick. Um, if you haven't entered the 1K subscriber giveaway, I will be putting the link to the video right up there. But you have to be subscribed in order to enter. So subscribe, share the channel with your family. Let's get to 2K. So without further ado, let's rotate some pops. All right, so we got the Stranger Things boxed up. That was a little crazy because some of them were here in the wall and um, I don't want like them all falling because I don't have any protectors on them, but Rick helped me out there. So they are ready to be placed in the closet. So we got to put these here in the wall with the Stranger Things with the television in the television line by number. The only thing I think we're not going to be able to get is this two pack here. Um, because, or maybe it does, it takes up two, no it doesn't, it, it leaves like a little gap. So we're probably just gonna put the two pack by itself somewhere. Oh my goodness, I forgot one. Time for the Infinity War shelf up here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this Spider-Man up here. I really like that one, but he's not part of it. So maybe this will just be like a, a Marvel shelf. Okay, so the Infinity War shelf is kind of complete. We're just missing like a couple characters here. So it looks different than like the rest of them because these are all just lined up straight across. But these are kind of like kind of like a cinematic look. Like I got these three here, you got Hulkbuster over here, and then you know, kind of just trying to give it like a movie moment. So it's not just one, two, three, four, five lined up straight in a row. That's how I used to have them all set up. If you guys remember how I had my pop stacked up on the shelves in the closet, they were all kind of like staggered, kind of like you know, a cinematic scene. That's what we're trying to recreate right here. So this is the Infinity War shelf, which is pretty cool. Um, so now I just got a box up like a whole bunch of these. Oh my goodness. All kind of sorted, finished up here. Television, movie, games. Hubby's trying to make sure these don't fall forward. All right, guys, so we are almost done except for the Jurassic World Park, Jurassic Park and Jurassic World case up there. We got today this guy, 
He's super cool looking. We're going to put him in the case up there. I was even thinking about taking out the chase that I have the, of the Dilophosaurus and putting him there, but I don't think I'll be doing that. And we got Owen today, who is actually behind Claire the whole time. So I actually could have got him on the last pop hunt, but it's okay. We got him now. So we'll be putting him in the case up there. And then that's pretty much it. We'll be done for the day. Alright guys, this is pretty much it. You can definitely see the umbrellas back there. It is super bright. So let me just open this up right here so you can see the case. I love the middle part here with the Indoraptor and T-Rex. It looks pretty cool in the case. And then I put blue over here and you got Owen Grady in the corner. And then we got the Dilophosaurus and Velociraptor right over here on the left. So I'm thinking of getting Ian Malcolm for the Jurassic Park side. But there's the Jurassic Park case. I think it looks pretty cool. So that is pretty much it for the day, guys. Oh, wait, let me show you the shelves over here. You guys saw the Infinity War shelf. Then the second shelf here, we kind of got mixed with Star Wars and DC and Porg just like right in the middle because he's Porg. He gets to do what he wants. And then we got the fun shelf here. Mr. Meeseeks right in the middle. Pop Sesame Street, Looney Tunes. And then the bottom shelf right here, another like Nickelodeon and just some random pops movies, Iron Giant. Cool stuff like that. So again, I'm probably going to be like boxing up some of these over here. The Disney side pretty much still stood the same, but over here we have one empty spot um, right next to Rex, but you will find out in a later video why. And then we got the Kingdom Hearts over here, which I kind of boxed up some of them. Like I boxed up Kyrie, Final Form, Sora, um, and I'll probably be boxing up some more since there's new ones coming out. So that is it for this video, guys. Do not let this time lapse fool you. I have been here for like two, three hours organizing this and putting some pops away, all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget about the 1K giveaway. All right, so I am signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>